In this video, I want to show you how you can use the software RStudio to do a binomial probability problem. So in this question, we are wanting to know how likely it is that a student will get 10 questions correct on a 20 question quiz if each question has the probability of success of one fourth. So what that means is our n is equal to 20, our probability of success is 0 0.25, and our x is equal to 10. So we can use the command dbinome, which d typically stands for the probability mass function or probability density function of a probability distribution. In this case, that distribution is a binomial distribution. And to put in the values to get what we want, we need to put in our x value, which in this case is 10. Separated by a comma, we'll put in our number of trials, so that in this case that's 20, that's n, and separated by another comma is then our probability of success, which is 0.25. So to run this line and to answer the question, how likely is it that the student will get 10 questions correct out of the 20 questions, is then 0.0. 9922275. So the likelihood is really small. So essentially, the lesson here is study for the quizzes. Don't go in and guess because the likelihood that even you get a 50%, 50% of the questions correct is very small. All right, so the next question is how likely is it that the student will get less than 20% of the questions correct? So if we think about this, what does that actually mean? And let's relate it to our random variable. So in terms of x. So the likelihood they will get less than 20% of the questions correct is the likelihood that x is less than or equal to three questions. And that's because four questions would be exactly 20%. So four out of 20 is 20%. And because we want less than that, we don't want to include four into our equation. So that means that we want to find the probability of x equal to 0, plus the probability of x equal to 1, plus the probability of x equal to 2, plus the probability of x equal to 3. In other words, the probability that x is less than or equal to 3, or the cumulative probability of x equal to 3. So we can do that using the p binome function. So instead of doing each one of those d binomes separately, we can use this cumulative function, which is, which is a lot simpler. So p binome represents the cumulative distribution for a binomial distribution. We put in our x value of 3. So this will give us the value that is equal to 3 and less than 3. And then we put in our number of trials and then the probability of success. We can run this line and we get the likelihood that a student will get less than 20% of the questions correct is 0 0.225156. All right, so for this last example, we, we we're finding that basically doing these by hand will be extremely tedious. So it's really important to be using software. So we can use this in a couple of different ways. So in this question I ask, how likely is it that the student will get more than 10 questions correct? So what does this mean? This means that the probability of x being greater than 10 is essentially when the student gets 11 questions correct, plus the 12 questions correct, 13, 14, 15, or up to 20 questions correct. So we would take each of those individual expressions and add them to get the probability of x being greater than 10. So we can do it this way, add all these up, run this line, and we get a probability of 0 0.00394214. So it's pretty unlikely that they're going to get more than 10 correct. Now, is there an easier way to do this? There is, but you have to think about the concepts a little bit more when you're doing this in R. So this is the same as the probability of x being greater than or equal to 11, which is essentially the same as, it's the same sample space as 1 minus the probability of x less than or equal to 10. So we can use complements to find this expression and using the cumulative function p binome. 
So again, we have to think of what is not included in this setup here. Well, that is zero, one, two, three, all the way up to 10. So if we find the cumulative probability of P binome with 10 and subtract it from one, we will get the same value as this. So let's try that out. And sure enough, it is the exact same probability as here, and it's a much simpler line. So again, just kind of think about what is not in the sample space that I want, subtract it from one, and you can get the same probability using an easier function.